you'll be patching something, all of a sudden it's like, wow, that's amazing, and you just have to stop, record it, work with it. The modulars are inspirational like that. You just stumble across things that you wouldn't normally come up with. It's just easy. Uh, all the individual ins and outs are there, and whatever you come up with in your head, you can just make the connection. I met Gavin through SoundCloud because we make the same sort of music and we got talking about what equipment we use and then I met you one weekend and yep. you showed me the modular because I'd never seen anything like it and uh, that was pretty much it. I was hooked. <laughs> and then Simon posted something up on Muff Wiggler, which is a well-known modular forum to ask if anyone wanted to meet up for a jam. We met around here, did that a few times and we, we started talking about a shop because there was nowhere to buy this stuff and the rest, as they say, is history. With a normal synth, everything's pre-patched. So you've got your oscillators, your filters, you then press a key and it can get quite boring and static pretty quickly. Whereas with the modular, because you're pre-patching everything, you think of different ways of doing things. But there's nothing as tactile as putting leads yeah. in and wiggling knobs and stumbling across things and then basing a whole track around it. Happy and accidents. Then, happy accidents. And when you get three people who you can work with together doing that, it can work really well because everyone's bringing new ideas playing things together, and that's what the modulars do. They give you ideas to start from, and then you think, well, I can change this, I can change that, I can add that into it. I love them. We have done stuff where it's completely improvised. Because we've played quite a few gigs together, you tend to get a bit of sympathy for the people you're playing with. The, each of our racks are kind of laid out, so it's a different instrument within a band kind of thing. This I've been using just as a drum machine. This would be the main drummer, I suppose. Uh, it just outputs strings of gates and trigger messages. These are all individual drum modules. The master clock is coming from a sequencer on here. So we can take multiple outputs. So one could go to this case, so everything's synced to this. And then if Gavin was using another case, just take another output from that. Overall, sharing those clock messages, I think, is the best thing about modular. Um, it's just a simple little pulse message and there's no reason you couldn't have a 100 meter table full of modular all clocked together. <laughs>